you know, I think the board will act expeditiously. I think they'll, they'll name someone within 90 days. You know, I think there are a lot of good candidates out there, and I would expect that they will move quickly. Jonathan, I believe the last time we talked, you said that you like, for instance, Sally Krawcheck. You think she would make a great CEO for Bank of America. Do you still believe that? Uh, you know, I think she's certainly got a very strong background. I would, I'd like the board to, to conduct a complete search and look outside the company as well. Um, and I think it's important before they look internally at some of the other internal candidates, I think they owe a responsibility to shareholders to find out what really happened prior to the shareholder vote. Hey, John, Adam, a uh, question for you. If, in fact, Sally Krawcheck were named CEO, she obviously comes out of a securities tradition. Does that set a tone for the bank that uh, you're comfortable with, or would you rather see Bank of America go back to its, its more retail roots? Well, it, you know, it's always going to be a big retail bank. They've got a large retail brokerage operation. You know, I think I'd like to see, uh, you know, someone who's got strong banking and strong investment banking background. Her background is primarily on the money management side of the business, which is an increasingly important side of their business. Now, John, as I know it, there's, I think, five separate government agencies that are investigating Bank of America right now. So given this, uh, you know, lack of success at the moment, or, or nobody, we don't know who's going who's gonna to take over Lewis's place, I mean, how does the bank get these investigations behind it and move on? You know, I think the board could be more proactive than they have been. The board could set up uh, an office of special counsel, such as Deutsche Bank did this past summer, uh, to investigate what really happened and, and find 